Hello Sagittarius viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. I just wanted to say I am still doing private readings as well. So if you'd like to book a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. That's right below in the description box. And if this resonates, I appreciate you guys commenting, even just leaving a heart reaction, just any little bit helps. Um, I'm trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm again to get my videos out there. So it really means a lot to me. And please subscribe too if it resonates. Maybe share it too. Um, maybe someone in your social media needs to hear this message. So, okay, so you're... This isn't, this isn't like daily energy. Major arcana are major life lessons, major transformation. You have right off the bat, you've got three major arcana cards here. Um, so we've got the king of swords. We've got justice. We've got the fool and we've got the wheel. I feel like this could be you, you connecting with an air sign, but for a lot of you, I actually feel like this is justice regarding somebody that was a king of swords. And, you know, the king of swords isn't always toxic. Like the king of swords can be a really positive person, but it's the king of swords is very logical, um, not very emotional, doesn't really, if they are emotional, they don't really show their emotions. They're very strategic. They can be, you know, the dark side of the king of swords. They can be a little bit manipulative. Um, just in their head quite a lot. Swords is, is air energy, mental energy. We've got justice and the fool and the wheel. So I kind of feel like a cycle is ending with this person. And I want to say that this person is actually transforming from being the king of swords to being somebody that, you know, can actually be on the same page with you. We have the ace of swords, clarity, communication, ten of swords, Page of Wands, the Moon, the Eight of Wands, the Star, Angel to the Newt, Knight of Wands, and Page of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, I feel like you have justice here in the sense that somebody that was a king or queen of swords is coming back around. And I feel like before the tables have turned, basically, before, you know, they had the upper hand, they had all the control. And now I feel like you do. I feel like they said something. I want to see what this conversation was. Because look how quickly we went from the Ace of Swords to the Ten of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is like clarity, communication. The Ten of Swords is like betrayal, backstab, being backstabbed, like an ending. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel like this person is wanting to come back around. But some of you, it's, it's up to you if you want to give this a chance. For some, you just have divine justice in the sense of, um, just your pride, basically, where it's like you have the chance to be the one to tell this person no, where in the past they were the one that had all the control. Um, I feel like I want to see what this conversation was or what what happened here with the ace or ten of swords, and then I'm going to get into it. But um, but I feel like you I feel like you've gone through that and it's like you've they didn't expect you to move on, but I feel like with all these cards here, I'm going to, I'm going to get into, into them in a second, but I feel like basically you did move on. Like, look how she's looking, he or she is looking to the future. You're not staying in this energy. You, you move, you came out of it. It might've been very heavy and very depressing for a while, but then I feel like you kind of processed that, like you kind of mourned this person. And then you're like, you know what? I want to like, follow my intuition and follow my passion and manifest. You have a lot of cards about manifesting, you know, what you want out of life. Um, Cause it just seems like, yeah, it seems I'm, I'm going to look into this, but it seems like, yeah, some kind of conversation or some kind of betrayal here, you found out something, there was some kind of clarity or something was said, and I'm going to pull cards to get more details, but it's like, you didn't stay in that energy. You, this person regrets it though. Whatever came to surf to light, like if they cheated or there's some kind of third party or something going on, or if they just maybe they said something they didn't mean. Whatever it was, I feel a lot of regret from this person, and it's up to you whether you want to 
give it a chance. I feel like you have justice in the sense just that you have the upper hand now, basically. You know what I mean? You can have, you can end this cycle with this person when they come back around and you can be like, you know what? No, I don't want this. You can get that closure or, you know, you can give this a second chance. It's going to be different for everybody. But either way, I feel like, you know, you picked yourself up out of this energy and you're using your intuition. You're moving forward. You're planting the seeds with the star here in the eight of wands, moving forward quickly, manifesting what you want, lots of passion, basically renewed passion for life. Like you went through almost a dark night of the soul or just something very heavy, very, very sad with this person. But it's, it's like you're coming out and you're, you're, you have this, this kind of free spirited energy now, you know, like this, this renewed love for life, this, um, this, you know, desire to just manifest everything that you want. It, it, it's like it, it, it's kind of like a rebirth and awake, like a, a death and rebirth process, basically, that you went through. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. What was this that happened between you two? Yeah, for some, it was cheating. Seven of Swords is like sneaky behavior, lying, cheating, stealing, um, some kind of betrayal, doing something behind your back. And you found out, and I feel like with this Five of Cups, it's like you, it was painful, but I feel like you let this go. For others, for a, for a percentage of you, I do feel like this was something this person said. Like they might have lied about their feelings or they said something that they didn't really mean. Like they, they wanted the upper hand and they spoke too soon. Because I'm just getting a hasty energy from this person that this person is like, damn, like, why did I say that? Or why did I do that? Like, I regret that so much. Because I keep hearing the song, the, um, the, the Hoobastank song, the, the reason I'm not a perfect person. There's many things I wish I didn't do. But I continue learning. I never meant to do those things to you. Um, I found I might be getting the lyrics wrong, but I, but I think it's pretty, pretty on point. Um, I found a reason to start over new a reason to be who I want to be or who I used to be or something like that. And the reason is you I probably got that so wrong. But anyway, look up that song if it resonates. Um, Four of Wands, Nine of Cups reversed. Yeah, you should be proud of yourself because you, you did it all on your own. Like this took a tremendous amount of strength. For some of you, this person was like all you had. Like this was like your rock. This was like your person. You know what I mean? Like this person was like everything to you. Like this was like your family. Like for some, I feel like you guys lived together. You just had that really close connection. Like you really, you really trusted this person. This person really let you down. It might even be like a situation, like I'm saying, like where you guys don't, aren't close to your families or you don't have like a lot of friends, but like you really relied on each other. But that, that's got to take a tremendous amount of strength because you you know what you deserve and you let like you let it go even though it was hard, you know, because you you value your peace and your stability. And but you feel like this wish didn't come true. And like now it's like kind of struggling to find that balance because it's like you, you know, you you wanted this person, but it's like it didn't. You're focusing on yourself. Yeah, you're finding that balance and you're focusing on yourself. Um. How does this person feel? Like, what do they want to say? What's going on with this situation? Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Three of Cups. The Hermit. Okay, this, there's no excuse for cheating, honestly, so I'm not trying to excuse it at all, but I feel like somebody, let me ask the pendulum to confirm, somebody sabotage things with you is basically what I get. Somebody was thinking about, I'll confirm this, were they thinking about marrying this person? Three, yeah, Three of Pentacles, Judgment, the Empress, yeah. Yeah, Three of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Empress. This person sees you as, like, male or female. You know, th there's no gender here. It's just, you know, take it as it resonates. There's, it's not, if I say female, but you're a male, just, you know, 
that's fine. It's just take it as it resonates. It could be a gay or lesbian relationship as well. But honestly, and again, this is no excuse for cheating. So please do not take this as me trying to excuse this person's behavior. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up. But I feel like this person basically scared themselves. I think that they were thinking about commitment with you. I think if you guys weren't together, they were thinking about making it official. Or if you were like living together in a situation, I think this person was honestly like thinking about marrying you. They were thinking, they were thinking about some, they were thinking about forever with you. Like the Empress and, you know, all four queens combined. This is like the, the ideal mother, the ideal wife or the ideal father or husband. Like this is like everything, you know what I mean? Like the Emperor Empress is like, that's like as good as it gets. Like that's like the ultimate, you know, that's the Empress is pretty much everything. She's all four queens combined. So they see you as the Empress. They have you on this pedestal. And I feel like their own insecurities led them to sabotage this. Because what I'm getting here is it's kind of like they were moving forward. This person, I don't, I don't want to say they're a bad person, but it does seem like somebody who needs like therapy or they need some kind of so better support system in their life I feel like I'm seeing somebody like drinking a lot like I'm seeing like a guy that's like just drinking a lot over somebody like I see I'm seeing like a um what is it like the wife beater top or something like a tough guy like a macho guy drinking or whatnot like he's a big teddy bear but he's trying to be all tough and act like he's good you know it's, it's like not somebody who's a bad person but it's just somebody who <sighs> really needs to get their insecurities in check, somebody who really needs to do some work on themselves. But, but yeah, basically I feel like they felt like you were above them almost to the point of like jealousy or like wanting to drag you down to their level. And I feel like you are trying to get them to match your energy. You know, if you're the empress, it's like you're trying to get them to be your emperor or vice versa. If you're the emperor, you're trying to get them to step up and be your empress. It's like you were trying to get them to like you know, step up and, and match, match your energy. You were trying to show them their potential. You were trying to show them that they can heal, that they can grow, then they can be a better person. I feel like this is somebody almost, I want to say, this is only for like one or two of you, but I almost feel like someone who is like either in like the prison system or like had trouble with the law or somebody who had like gotten fights in the past. Like there's, Somebody who just, somebody who's not a bad person, but just didn't really, had the cards kind of stacked against them this lifetime. You know what I mean? Like they have a good soul deep down, but it's kind of like somebody who just, you know, like the, the universe hasn't really worked out in their favor. I feel like maybe for some of them, they had a lot of bad karma to pay off this lifetime. Um, cause I'm just getting someone where it's like, you were like their safe space. Like you were like that, um, like they have a soft spot for you, like you're that safe space. Cause I'm, I'm just feeling like they're very tough, like very like overly macho, male or female, you know, just very overly macho with a lot of people or very um, like guarded, just very distrusting, like just not very like open, you know what I mean? Like they're not, they put on a front, like they're not really themselves with most people, but I feel like with you, it's like this person was like a big teddy bear, you know what I mean? Like you had them vulnerable and I feel like this person just felt like you were way too good for them. So instead of trying to work on themselves and trying to be the emperor or empress to match your energy, they just tried to like, I don't want to say tear you down, but it's like they didn't know what to do because they love you and they didn't want to tear you down. But they also felt like they felt like they were trapped, like they felt like they were stuck in limbo. They felt like they couldn't live up to what you deserve or they couldn't live up to your expectations. They're like, I'm never going to be able to be, you know, in their head, they were thinking like, I'm never going to be able to be the emperor or the empress. Like, I'm never going to be able to match the love and the patience and, and all this good energy you've shown me. Um, you know, that's kind of just where they're, where they're at. And so, but, but it, it's like, it's like, they, they didn't, I don't want to say they wanted to tear you down. It was more like they just, they felt trapped. Like they felt stuck. They didn't know what to do because they, you know, they, they kind of see you as just above them on this pedestal. So they, they see you like, they see your light. They see you as like this angel, just this safe space for them. Just, 
you know, this loving, amazing being in their life, they see you as somebody who's basically, I'm hearing them say, like, you saved my life, like, you changed my life, like, they just see you as, like, you know, they're in everything, basically. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like, they were kind of just trapped, though, because they're like, okay, well, like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to change these things about this person. Like, I admire these things, even if they're too good for me. Like, I, I admire them. I love this about my person. But like at the same time, I can't step up to to meet to, you know, to to get to be that person that they deserve. But it feels like somebody who sabotaged. So it feels like somebody who was kind of struggling with this insecurity for a while, and I feel like maybe they didn't say anything about it. Maybe they just felt like. Someone who constantly just like held their thoughts to themselves or maybe they showed you like a little bit of this energy, but they held a lot of it back. But it's like someone who just kept thinking like, I'm not good enough. Like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to match this energy. I don't know how to be deserving. And I feel like they their, their issue is that they didn't express that. They could have gotten some mental help for that and gotten back on track. But instead, I feel like they just kind of isolated feel like there could be drinking, drugs, gambling, something like that involved too, where they just kind of, um, you know, got stuck in their head and try to figure it out on their own, but they weren't able to figure it out. And that insecurity built up. And I feel like what happened here is I feel like, I feel like this person just did something to completely sabotage it, you know? This person got to the point where they're like, I'm never going to be good enough. I'm never, you know. It might be one of those things, too, where maybe you were telling them to, like, um, pursue a certain career or to be a certain way. And they feel like that's just not who they are. Or they just felt like they couldn't do that. But it's kind of like they were they were working towards that. Like, they were trying to find that stability. You know, Knight of Pentacles is, it takes a long time. It's a slow-moving night. But when the Knight of Pentacles gets to where they're going, they're very stable and grounded, you know, like they've thought everything through. So it's like they were trying to be stable um, and they were thinking about long term with you. Honestly, they were thinking about this. They wanted to make these changes. They wanted to build something with you. And then it's like they got in their head and they made a judgment call. And that judgment call was this person is, you know, like what I was saying, the emperor, the empress. And and I, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to match that energy. Um, and with the Three of Cups, I feel like there was a third party for some. Because I just feel like they sabotaged. They did something really major to sabotage, whether that was cheating, whether it was saying something that they didn't mean. The Hermit reversed too. For some, I feel like it was, for like for those of you that were like living together, I wouldn't say that they were bored. But I, I think it was becoming too normal for them. Like everything was so normal or so perfect that it's like they didn't trust it. Like this person was like, okay, there's no drama. Like this is like, I'm actually going to fix myself and change and do right by this person. Like what's the catch? You know what I mean? Like, and they got, they got like frantic, like they got kind of antsy and they, you know, getting out of hermit mode, they went and they, they cheated or they, um, or just something major to sabotage. Tell me more about this connection. And it's going to be different for everybody, whether you, um, you know, this is just an insight into what, you know, what their thought process was. Um, I feel like this person would have to, for it to work, they need some kind of support system, whether it's counseling or really reliable friends or whatever, like they, I mean, probably counseling, ideally. But whatever it is, it's like they, you know, they have to work. If this is going to work, they're going to have to work through their insecurities. Otherwise, they're going to keep sabotaging and they're going to keep viewing you as above them. And they're going to keep feeling like they can never match you. So, but I feel a lot of regret. Whatever they did, there's a lot of, they're in a lot of pain over this. I feel like they're upset over you on a regular basis. They're not really, they're just thinking about how to win you back. The emperor, the king of cups. They want to be this person. They want, yeah, they're trying to move. Yeah, they're trying to come forward and be this person. Ten of Wands. Queen of Cups. Five of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Hmm. 
For some, you might already be with somebody new, though, or they think that you're with somebody new, or they're worried about you being with somebody new. I'm also getting the sense that they feel like... See, the, the, again, this is the per the problem with this person's insecurities is that they can't see outside of that. They can't, they can't, they don't know how to be like reasonable and like logical because it's like they just see their traumas, their past, their, you know what I mean? Like they just see all the bad things they've gone through in their life because I do kind of get like them throwing themselves a little bit of a pity party here where it's like they felt like, you know, like, hey, like I was trying to work on this. I was trying to be this emperor, this king, king or queen of cups for you. I was trying to move forward and then like, you know, you let me go like 10 of wands is like releasing a burden, like just letting go of um, someone or something that's holding you back, like just the straw that broke the camel's back. And I think they understand it to an extent, like they understand it, but they're also feeling sorry for themselves and being like, see, like I worked on myself and I was, I was trying to do better and then this person let me go and, you know, they feel like left out in the cold. Sorry about that. So it's kind of like a mixed energy where it's like they know they screwed up, but then they also go through these phases where they're just like feeling sorry for themselves and being like, see, like I shouldn't have worked on myself because like, you know, I just lose everything in the end and yada, yada. Um, but it almost feels like they're the one that left you or they, they left you in a position at least where you had to leave them, where you didn't, they weren't giving you much choice. Like they weren't being reasonable. What's this person's next actions towards you? Love message. Yeah, because they're tired of not talking. They're tired of either arguments or miscommunication. Yeah, they're they're wanting to manifest this back. They're wanting to send a love message. They're not wanting you to move forward. They 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 want you to stay single. They want to fight for this. Yeah, Five of Swords, Seven of Wands, King of Wands. They're not wanting to give it a chance to let other people um, interfere. Like, they don't want to let people come in between you or let somebody else come sweep you off your feet. Four of Swords, King of Wands, The Hanged Man. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, new perspective, really in their head, just really nostalgic over you, honestly. Just just sad, just missing you, just wanting a new start with you. Um, yeah, just, re yeah, anxious. Really anxious, really upset, really, like, having sleepless nights over you and wanting to make these promises to do better. I mean, the desire to change is there. Like, I do feel like this person does genuinely want to be, like, an emperor or an empress or, like, a king or queen of cups or pentacles type. Like, like they do want to be better. I think the issue is just that they're so insecure and, like, you're the only one that's, like, really seen the good in them. You know, I feel like they've spent their life, like, I feel like maybe they were kind of a bad person before, um, or they at least appeared like a bad person, and so maybe people kind of treated them like that. It's like, what's that quote from, um, what's that quote from, there's this quote from a movie, I think it's like, he, he, they saw him as a monster, so he became a monster or something like that. Um, I think that's from Suicide Squad, actually, but, um. But yeah, it's like, it's that kind of energy. It's it's just like, they, they, they have the desire, but they just don't see the good in themselves. They don't see the things that you see in them. They don't see those things in themselves. They almost felt like, it was almost like imposter syndrome when you guys were together, where they just felt like, like they were lying to you almost. Like they felt, you know what I mean? Like they felt like you... Like what you were seeing was an illusion, you know, like if you saw empathy in them or you saw kindness or you saw intelligence or any of these, you know, positive qualities, they felt like they were tricking you. They felt like that wasn't, you know, like they felt like, like they, like, it, like they couldn't be that person. Like it was just an illusion. You just, you thought you saw the good in them, but you didn't know what you were seeing or you didn't realize how dark they really were or, you know, it's it's like they really do want to change they just don't know how to change and they don't see themselves as a good person so it's like they don't believe that um they don't have that base you know what I mean like they don't really um 
just believe in themselves enough. And and it's it's partly, like I said, not having that support system their whole life. I feel like maybe family and friends and people around them. Um, I was getting like the like prison system for a couple of you, not for most of you, but for a couple of you. But but it's like, you know, this is this is built up over years and years. So even though the desire is there, it's like they have to, they, they need some kind of guidance or some kind of mental help, I feel, to to really build themselves and really start believing in the good things that you've seen in them. Um, yeah, because it's like anxiety, sleepless nights, and they're wanting to make these promises. They're wanting to make the commitment to change, to be what you deserve, to match your energy, to be good enough for you since they see you as so far above them. But, but again, it's, it's not, it's not them playing. I don't think it's like them playing games with you. If they like try to do that and then they fail. I think it's, it's like I said, they don't have that support. They end up getting stuck in their head and they keep everything to themselves and they repeat that cycle. Um, you know, they don't want to appear weak. They don't want to show their insecurities to you. They don't, they don't want you to know how they really feel about themselves. You know what I mean? Like, I think, you know, like, I think they've probably expressed it to a degree, but I think it's just a lot deeper and darker than, than you even realize basically. Um, so, so yeah, it's not like them, like, you know, like they're, they're not like pretending like they want to change and just trying to win you back. It's like the desire is there, but then they keep falling back into old patterns. So, so yeah, like I said, there has to be some kind of mental support, mental help. I feel like for there to be any hope with this connection. But for others of you, like if you feel like you cannot give this a chance, that's totally fine too. I feel like your spirit guides will support you on that as well. You know, you can wish this person healing, send them healing from afar and go on your separate ways if you choose to. Like you're going to have that justice to basically have the ball in your court and be able to make that decision if you want this or if you want to manifest somebody new. You know what I mean? Like there's not like a wrong choice. It's It's really up to you what you know, what path you want to go down. And again, there's certain things that are unforgivable, even if, even if this person does want to change, like there, there might, it's totally okay. If you just cannot let this go and you just want to take that closure when this person comes back around and move forward, you know, totally up to you. But anyway, if this resonates and you'd like a private reading, please email me at dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And please comment too, if it resonates, even just a heart comment below, like that, that gets me back in the YouTube algorithm, gets these, you know, gets YouTube to promote these videos. So it really means a lot to me if you can just take just, just a second, just to comment below. Thank you guys.